Unless someone's trying to launch their own career. Right, but at that point, it's like, well, what do you want to do? Do you want to write? Do you want to act? Do you want to direct? Because I can guarantee you, you're not good at all three of them. I mean, and I know, you know, there's Woody Allen is alive and still making movies, and guys like Ed Burns, and those guys are around, um, but... You know, odds are you're either going to be a great actor and not exactly have the dir good director's eye, or you're going to be very visually great with communication and, and a palette. But when it comes time for you to act, you know your mind is wait, you know thinking about angles and where what you're going to do. You know what's after that scene because you got a whole day of like all these. You know, <laughs> you have a shoot day to get through. So. Well, that reminds me of your video interview you did with Webster University, which mm -hmm. is your alma mater. And uh, you said that someone coming from film school or any type of creative, you know, career, or excuse me, seeking a creative degree should really pinpoint what it is that they want to do. Mm -hmm. And not just, yeah, under the guise of this or that, but because you said it, it's really tough. And, and I want to hear more about your process for choosing, you said you wanted to just write and direct. Mm -hmm. And why is it so tough? Well, I picked the toughest thing, writing and directing. That's the hardest. I think they're all hard and they all, they, you know, you need everyone, you need the collaborative effort to get, to get the picture made. Um, it's important because there's too, ma there's too much competition and there's too many people too good at their jobs for you to think you can do everything. If you think you can be your own DP, your own director, be in your own movie, then, um, then you, haven't, you haven't been on enough sets, period. I mean, I was a PA when I was 17, 18 years old on a, on a big film. And um, you see how dedicated and how professional these people are from the boom operator to the key grip to the camp, to the first AC, to the scripty. They're so passionate and dedicated. To think that you can be good at everything is ridiculous. I mean, it's just, it's like, only in the entertainment business do we think we can do everything. You don't see a, a you know, a, a doctor saying, well, I'm good at brain surgery and I'm a parapsychologist and I'm, I can go sell cars. Or, or, you know, it's just, so it's important to figure out what you're good at, what's gonna get you up in the morning. If you, want, if you get up in the morning and you really feel like, man, I really like being a boom op. I like being close to the actors. I like that. I like, you know, you know that's what I get passionate about, going to set every morning. That's what you should do. Um, for me, I like the communication, the aspect of communicating with the actors, developing that relationship. That's, that's my thing. That's what I do best. That's why I direct. And writing kind of, and I'm, you know, that kind of goes hand in hand. Reminds me of the saying, jack of all trades, master of none. Mm -hmm. So you're watering down, you know, the whole creative process. You talked about in the interview that things will get difficult. Can you talk about what that is? Like, what, what did you mean when you said that in the interview? Because I thought that was interesting. Things will get difficult? Mm -hmm. You said. Um, things are going to get difficult because you're going to realize how, the, A, how competitive it is, and B, um, how how truly how good people really are at their jobs and how um, not only have to be good at your job bring something to the table you have to be accountable you have to be reliable and you have to be a good person to work with and I think those are a lot of dynamics thrown into the mix and um, uh, because there's always if you don't want to do it there's always going to be someone else that will that'll come in right behind you and do your job